Another domino is falling for the Milwaukee Public Schools District. Today, the Wisconsin Department of Public Instruction announced it's withholding MPS's June special education aid payment. Fox 6's Durante Matthews joins us live with reaction from the district's now former controller. Yeah, that's right, Brielle. Well, first of all, that June payment is just more than $16 million. Now, as you mentioned today, I spoke with MPS's recently fired comptroller who weighed in on just how much withholding these funds will impact the district and also why he says he was pushed out of the door. Another financial blow to MPS, at least for the moment. Thursday, the State Department of Public Instruction said it's withholding the district's June special education aid payment. The hold is until MPS submits required financial data, leaving the district about $16.6 .6 million short. To a district this big, $16 million is uh, like a hair in a cat. Alfredo Balmaceda is MPS's former comptroller. He says he was fired Tuesday afternoon after the district's public financial fiasco and before Superintendent Keith Posley's after hours resignation. Without any further investigation or any questions asked, I was. Uh, told that I had been uh, removed from my position. Balmaceda says all of the administrative staff members who deal with financing knew of the issues. He says his ousting was unfair. This was a rush decision that probably is going to hurt the district a whole lot more than it should have. The decision comes after DPI announced NPS is months behind on turning in financial paperwork, which could cost them millions more. What went wrong? Was it the auditors not really being helpful? Was it an outdated system? Was it lack of staffing? I would say all three of those. Balmaceda says among the issues, there were only two auditors who he says they were waiting on to certify their numbers for DPI. He also says they were using a complex system that was not compliant with generally accepted accounting principles. It takes a long time to go through all the accounting that was done in the whole year and in, in, in the closing period, so uh, that's what delayed us so much. Now, DPI's communication person tells me that they are working with NPS on a corrective action plan. He says once everything is taken care of and finalized with that, then they are prepared to release that payment. We're also told that Milwaukee Mayor Cavalier Johnson is expected to have a press conference tomorrow addressing the current issues that NPS is facing. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Durante Matthews, Fox 6 News. Durante, did he say at all if there was at least one specific person or position responsible for submitting those missing documents? Well, essentially, he tells me that everybody in FI, everybody and the administrative staff involved with financing knew about it, but he did mention someone with the Office of uh, Accountability, but didn't go into specifics about that person. Thank you so much, Durante.